What's up guys, it's Justin Khan, your favorite founder's favorite founder, and I'm back at it again with another YouTube video. And this time, I'm with my co-founder, Arjun, from Rye. Rye.com, uh, that's one of the startups that I have started. And I wanted to take some time and explain to you what it is and why you might wanna use it, join it, uh, be part of it. So Rye is an API that allows you, the developer, to build any sort of e-commerce application simply, easily, and without talking to any merchants. We wanted to create something that was uh, essentially like Stripe for commerce, where it would be easy, open, programmatic uh, for any you know existing application that wanted to introduce a new e-commerce experience and or uh, expand on their e-commerce experience to really just easily be able to do that whenever they wanted. Back in early 2021, that's kind of when we first met. We met on a Zoom call together. It was love at first sight. <laughs> love at first sight. Love at first sight. Started thinking through what we could build. Uh, we're really engaged with crypto, really engaged with you know the, the complexity of e-commerce uh, and wanted to just build something that would disrupt that area. My philosophy now on, on building companies is I'm old as shit. It's not do or die for me anymore. So I need to partner with someone who has heart for whom it is do or die. Right? If this company doesn't work, He's gonna be on the street. No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. No, he probably will probably be uh, have to go get a job as an engineer somewhere. When I was starting Justin TV, the, the company that became in Twitch, if it didn't work out, like I was fucked. I don't have that energy anymore. I'm may, out here making YouTube videos. Um, I'm having too much fun. Yeah. So originally we start brainstorming. We were like, hey, we want to build. We wanted to use crypto dynamics, right? Um, which is basically like. Uh, allowing a crowd to kind of control the destiny of a project. Yeah. We thought that would be an interesting way to attack different markets, right? And so we started investigating different markets. And one of the things that we really thought um, was interesting was e-commerce because it was the biggest market. And e-commerce has this one player, Amazon, that kind of controls the whole thing in the US, yeah. right? Over 50%. Um, and at the same time, Amazon is a kind of raw deal for the participants, right? For the yeah. merchants who sell on Amazon. Uh, they like it because Amazon drives 90% of the revenue sometimes, but they don't like it in, in some ways because Amazon has jacked up the fees over time yeah. on merchants. And they've also, they also like sometimes just copy their product and sell yeah. like the exact same product right? yeah. With a, as an Amazon basic or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so after we talked to a bunch of, of merchants, uh, it was pretty clear that they wanted an alternative channel, right? Yeah. And that's why a lot of traffic goes to Shopify. People are setting up their own stores and trying to drive customers to their own channel. We conceived of Rye as a third channel uh, where any developer who wanted to set up any kind of shopping experience uh, could sell any sort of um, like product that they, they wanted to or products they wanted to. Yeah. And at the same time, you know, I've, I've been an investor, angel investor, and so I had a lot of people come to me and say, hey, I'll, I'm you know building a live shopping app. I'm building a creator commerce app where creators can sell their favorite things. And you know, the commonality among all of these different types of new e-commerce apps uh, was that people, it was hard to set up a new e-commerce app, yeah. right? Because it's hard to figure out how do I get merchants how do I merchandise my store? And then how do I connect to all these merchants' middlewares? You know, they have their own e-commerce backend. How do I connect? Yeah. And so the light bulb kind of went off for us and we were like, hey, we could uh, just create an API that allows people to easily build on top of this. We want to allow people to easily add e-commerce to their app. Yeah. And I think we saw, especially since COVID hit, there is this explosion of, of applications, uh, especially in like, like you're saying, in the influencer space where you know, people wanted to create new shopping experiences and there wasn't a great way for them to be able to connect to merchants. It was just like a very antiquated, very heavy process to you know have brand deals, talk to different merchants that were across Shopify or across the internet. Uh, and we just saw that there's a much better way for us to do that. And especially if it was programmatic, it'd be really easy for them to connect in the applications that they already had. Uh, and we wanted to power, you know, applications that were small from tiny little startups to you know massive startups that were already driving a ton of GM gmb and different influential traffic for for shopping as well so yeah that's going to be so so our customers are like startups right like a lot of new tech companies that are building uh new ways that people can shop and discover products yeah i think for a developer there's really just three specific pieces here one is uh we wanted to provide a super simple easy way for them to query for any product across the internet so if you wanted to find Shopify products, if you wanted to find products on Amazon or across you know different platforms, you should be able to get you know real-time pricing information if it, the product is available or not, uh, and all the metadata for you to be able to kind of contextualize why to sell that product. Yeah. Two, uh, and this is kind of like the novel thing that we unlocked is uh, just a better way for them to actually sell that product. So uh, you don't want users to uh, you know 
uh, necessarily leave your site or go to the merchant store. Uh, the highest point of intent for that sale is actually on your website. Uh, and so we wanted to introduce native checkout for any of those products. So uh, if you wanted to sell you know, shoes, uh, you, know, you should be able to have all the information to sell those shoes right on your site. Uh, and then third, uh, you know, when you make that sale, you should be rewarded for making that sale. So uh, hook into commissions, affiliate networks, et cetera, to be able to actually get you know, monetary rewards for yeah. that sale. So it's a way that you, the developer, can make money by selling stuff. Exactly, yeah. And then as a merchant, you know, if you're a merchant on Amazon or on Shopify right now, why would you want to be on Rye? Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of mentioned this. So merchants, uh, you know, are kind of beholden to either Amazon, selling on Amazon, or through ads. Uh, and especially in the last 10 years, uh, you know, the cost for selling through ads or through Amazon has gone through the roof. Uh, and what we saw is there's all these different platforms that were making sales and providing context for these merchants anyways. Uh, you know, we just wanted to be an open and free channel for these merchants to be able to connect to those platforms uh, and, you know, be able to be introduced to new shoppers or new influencers or new sellers that they didn't have access to before. Uh, and with our platform, it's very simple to do that. And they can have custom permissions, uh, they can talk to these platforms directly and just have a much better understanding of where this, those products are actually being sold. Yeah, so as a merchant, you know, if you're on Shopify, you can install our app with one click, super easy, yep. and you get free sales and you don't have to, you know, the default is you don't have to pay commission on that. So it's like yep. a free channel for merchants. Exactly, and, and one thing that we also unlocked was specifically the, the native checkout piece. We wanted to make it super simple for uh, any shopper to be able to buy any product from any merchant. So, uh, you know, if they go through our API, uh, where we live is we take all the, the customer information in terms of the order, what they want to buy, the product details, the credit card information, payment details, and we actually just place that directly on the merchant's order stack. So it's super simple. It's just like if that shopper went directly to that merchant store to actually purchase something. Um, and it's, you know, they get all the customer information, everything that they need to actually be able to engage with that customer. What are the types of apps that are build it, being built on top of Rye right now? The beauty of Rye is that uh, it's a massive spectrum of potential apps. Uh, some, some apps that are using us right now are, you know, stores like Lincoln Bios, where um, there's a lot of influencers that already have affiliate links. We can convert those into native checkout, so it's much, much easier for uh, shoppers to actually buy products that they want to buy. Uh, we also work with gifting platforms and expanding their inventory. Uh, previously, gifting platforms were uh, confined to a specific catalog of products. Uh, usually when you're trying to gift something, you, you know, you want to be able to gift specific things that you're thinking about, not what that catalog of products or that, that kind of platform is thinking about. So uh, we allow them to expand uh, these gifting platforms to sell whatever they want. Uh, we also work with you know, publishers and review sites where uh, you know, they might want to sell specific Shopify products or Amazon products and we give them all the information necessary to actually make that, uh, that sale without actually having to talk to those merchants or those specific products. Yeah, so it's kind of like anything you can imagine as the developer, any kind of store you can make. Yeah. You, know, you can make a single product store that's like almost like a Shopify all the way through a multi-brand store like Amazon. See something completely out there like a live video shopping app. We want to empower the creativity of the developer to create any kind of e-commerce experience that they can imagine. The crypto part, so we want to talk a little bit about the crypto part because we did mention that in the um, in the past. So for me, you know, the way I think about Rai is that we can be successful without crypto at all. Like as an API with a marketplace behind it that empowers all these developer apps, if we make that function, then that's something that people want. We can be a successful company. One thing that got me interested in crypto is if it's possible to create a new model of governance on the internet where the people who make this market, you know, the buyers in our case at Rye, the, the people who are um, developers who are creating the experiences and the sellers who are selling the, the products uh, were actually capable of governing the platform over time. So yeah. they decided what is the permissible behavior yeah. over time. And so, you know, that's ultimately where I'd love to get to. I, you know, the internet's an experiment. It's an ongoing one. Yeah. Um, and I think there should be more experimentation in how these platforms are owned and governed. Yeah. And I'm really inspired by Ethereum where, you know, they basically have this new computing platform that is governed by the people who, you know, own Ethereum. Yeah. And so I think that's, that's maybe possibly a better model than having like one big company that once they build the platform, they're incentivized to extract as much as possible. I think it might be better if we try a world where the people who make the platform own and govern the platform over time. And so my ultimate goal for Rise, like in the future, uh, we would be that kind of platform once we just, you know, have product market fit and people are using the platform. Um, and it also, as a side note, it makes it so that we can't change the deal on our yeah. customers over time, yeah. right? You know, we think that Rye should be, you know, 
there should be a fee for using Rye eventually. Uh, we think that fee will be taken out of um, paid commissions. So like when some when one of our merchants wants to incentivize people to sell their stuff, they can set a commission and then Rye, part of that commission will go to the developer and then some smaller percentage will go to Rye. Yeah. Our goal is that we can't change the deal on our customers over time yeah. because I think that's you know, it's it fucked up. Yeah. yeah. If we look at this as a marketplace, the actual players in the marketplace, the people that, the brands, the, the merchants that actually pr produce products, and the people that actually can sell those products, they should be able to control you know, the fees associated with this. They should be able to interact with one another. There shouldn't be a specific middleman that you know, controls that over time. Uh, and I think that's really powerful if you could you know, decentralize that and create a protocol that way. That's the future, boom. Final thoughts, if you're a merchant, and you want to uh, sign up, we'll throw a link below on how you can add your inventory to Rye and sell on Rye. If you're a developer that wants to build an e-commerce app or has e-commerce uh, in your app already, uh, Rye might be a great solution for you. We'll put a link below as well. And if you are a developer who wants to work on a really exciting project, uh, we're backed by Andreessen and Horowitz uh, and many more amazing investors, uh, you can, we'll throw a link down below. And yeah, Rye is also hiring pretty aggressively as well. So if you're an engineer and wanna build on this product, build uh, the future of, of e-commerce. Uh, we'll have some links below for, for hiring. How did you think that went? Went well, well, yeah, went well, well. I think there's- uh... You're nervous? You look nervous as fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was nervous, I was nervous. But I think there's just a lot to kind of explain around Ryan. So I, I feel like we did a, a good job. Yeah, you crushed it. We got Sarab over here, CTO. Big hey, cameo guys. at the end. Well, tell, us, tell us why if you're an engineer, you should come work here. Look, uh, I feel like I have the easiest job in the world. I don't, I don't need to sell Rye. I think the team and the mission basically sell themselves. So come, come trial us out. We, we hired all my friends from Reddit who basically built the company and grew it tremendously over the past couple of years. We're all here and we're gonna scale Rye and we're gonna take over the world. We're gonna take over the world. We're taking it over right now, starting with this villa in Miami.